Hey everybody, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete. Today, I'm in Southern California at Exotica Nursery. You guys definitely gotta come out here, talk to the man Steve who runs it, and get some incredible edibles to plant at your home urban farms or edible landscapes. And this tree, I ate this uh, fruit or bean once before in my life in Kauai, and it's an ice cream bean. So look at the size of this tree. He's got it growing up through this structure and Steve, the owner here, said that he got the seeds from Oaxaca back in the mid to late 80s, planted this tree in about 88. And from a seed, this tree has now grown 88, 98, 2008, almost like 27, 28 years maybe. Mm -hmm. And he's now this size. And look at how many of the beans are off this guy. I mean, there's literally 100. thousands of beans. Yeah, and it bears almost all year round. Too. It bears year round. Um, well, maybe eight or nine months out of the year. There's some fruit. And the tree's a soil builder, you said. Mm -hmm. Where does it put into the soil? The lagoon. It breathes nitrogen into the soil. That's great. Stimulates numerous production. And so we can just kind of dig into this bean. And open it up like this and it looks like kind of like a like a mushy banana mm -hmm. but it's not no, it's but we take the white fluff off of the black seeds so the seed i can keep it in 28 years have my own tree maybe well it'll bear quicker than that okay so probably about eight to ten years from the seed eight to ten before it bears maybe, fruit maybe even a little less cool then you eat the white fluff part and it's supposed to taste like ice cream right mm -hmm. ice cream bean or cotton candy. Or cotton candy. It does taste like cotton candy. So this is a uh, cotton candy that would be good for kids to eat. Mm -hmm. I love this. I'm gonna just sleep here tonight. Yeah. Just hang out and eat all of these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is so delicious. And it's so cool when you can find rare and exotic fruits like this, plus the story behind how they are planted. So you're eating history, plus you're putting things in your system that you've probably never had before, and therefore you're getting nutrients and minerals you've never had before. I'm just all about this stuff. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna eat ice cream beam the rest of the day. See that? And you take it off like this, and the seed comes out, and that's the fluff. Tastes like a bean. You eat that. Mmm, so good. It's easy to be vegan with stuff like this. Grow your food at home. I'll see you guys next time.